So this is a little demo of what you can do with forms. Um, so we'll take the employees and just drag and drop it as a form um, with buttons. Okay, so the form can actually have a property called um, maximum columns, for example, two, or maybe even three. Let's do it, and then you can set number of rows, for example, four, right? And what this does is actually um, lays out the the fields in three columns like that. Okay, so if we now save the page and run it, we'll see the behavior when tabbing between the fields. Right, so now if we stand in the first field and we start tabbing, you can see that we're going um, inside each column one by one, like that. So what happens if you actually want to go from this field on tab to this field and then here? So basically go row-wise. And let's see how you can achieve this by using a couple of other forms. Right? So right now we have a form here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take another panel form just drag it after that one okay and do the same again sorry here and another one here okay so now we have multiple forms here and what we're going to do is for each one of those we're just going to have one row of items so <coughs> we're basically going to take the second row of items here and just move it over to this form like that okay and then some will move to this form two three like that and then we can move those again so that those went into the footer those two so you need to be pick those two move them here after this field and then we have one or two more that we actually need to move over we'll drag those over here okay so now we got basically if you look at our form structure okay we got one two three four forms now what we want to do is we want to make sure that all of them are basically arranged in the same way so we're going to select all of them, right? And for all of them, we're going to say we're going to have three columns and one row, okay? And now you can basically see the layout here. And so what you can notice now is that the fields are not actually aligned vertically. So to achieve this, you can use the field width and label width to do this. Um, so let's do, for example, 250 here and 140 over here right? and then we can save the page and um, reload it right, so we probably want to move those buttons though so let's just move those okay from the footer in the first one to the footer in the last one like that, right? Save again, reload. So our form basically looks similar to how it looked before, but now when you actually tab through the fields, you're going from one to the other in this order, right? 